Hi everyone, it's Leanne. How are you going? We were doing our journal, weren't we? Uh, last video, uh, we were doing October. I've got some washi tape I made up here. Um, they're just little strips of mixed media paper or acrylic paper or um, sort of paint paper or uh, watercolour paper and all I did is I had them left over all I did was put some double sided tape on the back and I'm trying to get that off now and there we go and I thought it'd make a difference on the paper so let's see just to add some colour because we're not using any colour are we we're not using any um, paint we're not using anything like that okay so there we go there's some color on the page what do you think yeah we should put a bit more over here too just to add to it just see what this will look like here should we put the blue there yeah the blue um I'll just take the backing off and I'll put a bit of colour there as well. Like that. Now I don't think it looks straight because one end of the paper is actually skinnier than the other. There we go, I fixed it up as best I could. Now we're not perfect, are we? There we go, and we put the other one there. So there's a little bit of colour on our page. And we've got this one here we're doing, which is November. Let me just cut this up. Okay, oops, nearly dropped my scissors. <clears throat> okay. Let's put our glue on again. Our blue glue. Let's put our chart there. There we go. I'm just going to cut this one up, get it ready. I did throw it away and then I thought, no, I can use them. They were on there. Why didn't I just leave them? You know, why didn't I just, I crossed this one up, so why didn't we just leave it there? But anyway, there we go. Got some colour on our page there. Let's just go to the important page, which is this one. And let's put some more washi tape on there. Something pretty. How about the green? Green, even the orange looks nice. Let's do that. Now these are just off cuts I had sitting around. I thought, what could I use them for? Because they're very expensive paper. Uh, and it's a very, very beautiful paper too. You can... It's very easy to use this paper. Let me see where I'm up to. About there. And there we go. Might just cut that last bit off. I'm just going to move the light over. I can't see a damn thing. There we go. Okay, so can you see that now? The light might be reflecting too much for you to see, but. There we go. I just added a bit of colour. We can add a bit of colour there too, but I might want to write something later on, so I'll just leave that. Now, the most important day here is obviously the 25th. And what year, day does it fall on? Christmas. Monday falls on. So here's the very special day of the 25th. Let me see, where did I put my little card? 
We'll cut over there, that's important. Let's just do another arrow there. Oops, dropped my card, but that's okay. And I'm just going to put Xmas. Just a short um, version of what that means, the 25th. I've got this little box of doodads I've been doing. Here's a beautiful, beautiful little Christmas thing. There's another one. I am going to make these up into Christmas decorations. I just haven't worked out what I'm going to do with them yet. Now here's a bunch of tea bags. Now I am doing a lot of tea bags lately and I am going to use them. I'm uh, not sure what for, but I am going to use them. Maybe I could go over the 25th. Doesn't look too bad, does it? What else have I got here? Right, I've got stickers here from Melinda and Alexis Art Space. Maybe that might be better to use one of those stickers I've got. Or maybe just that. I did like the look of that. It's just a little felt covered star with Merry Christmas on it. You know, if I put it just there, the 25th and a Merry Christmas, that would look good, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's do that. But also let's put down this. There we go. Yep, fits. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to fit, but how about we try it with the glue first? If it doesn't work, we can get out the hot glue gun later on and use that instead. But we'll see if this attaches itself. It's wood, so let's see if it attaches itself. And we can put that in there. We can cover up what we just wrote, doesn't matter. And we'll put that right there. Let's just hold that on for a few secs. Right, I think that stayed down. Just get a bit of, bit of glue just there. Okay, so there we go. It's stuck down and I've got Merry Christmas there on the 25th. That looks a bit different, doesn't it? Do you know what else is in December? Oh, here's another one. Isn't that sweet? That one there's sweet. I think that's from Ali Cousins, that little flower. And there's a red one. This is my favourite. I like how the tinsel's just in the centre there. Can you see that? Well, you can't. And um, that's great. But you know what else is in December? My birthday. Here we go. Here it's on a Saturday and it's the 16th of December. And I will be 57. Ooh. What a wonderful age. Yeah. <laughs> no one likes getting older. But you know what? You've got to go with it because you've got to work with it. That's all you've got. You can forget about birthdays if you want. Um, you can not celebrate them, but you still get older, so you may as well celebrate them. Uh, let me see, Leanne. Yes, my name is Leanne. It's plural, birthday. Birth. Day. There we go. So there's Leanne's birthday on the 16th of December. Jeez, I write crooked. Oh well, it's for personal use anyway. 
Um, okay, I've got these little things I found. Hang on a minute, I might just use some stickers here that I've got. Merry Christmas, this one. Let me just see if I can get the backing off it. Isn't that half the battle? It's when you've got to get the sticker back off the paper. I find that very hard to do. It's, I haven't got a knack. I haven't worked with it enough to know how to do them. Maybe you should do it from the front, not the back off, but the front off first, like I just did, and it worked. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to stick that on my book because it says Merry Christmas. And there's a circle. Perfect circle. Okay. I've got Santa there, but Santa's backed onto some cardboard like a tag. Okay, so we've got our tea bags there. We can uh, use them for anything. I thought, let me just see. I just, I just thought that maybe on the back of little and then you can hang them on the tree maybe not sure about that <laughs> anyway that's just the crazy mind of leanne palmer okay let me see here i'm just going to get this birthday cake uh yeah, birthday cake. What do you call them? I am not sure now. Oh dear. You're going to have to remind me. But I'm going to put a birthday cake under Leanne's birthday. Just like that. And then we open it up. You know how you open the back up? I can't remember the name of them. It's completely gone out of my head. There's a birthday cake sitting for my birthday. There we go. Okay, so we've got our October and our November. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> What's that say? Oh, it's a long cap. It's interesting. What's that? Looks like a bird. How about we put a bird there on this page just to give it some colour. Where are we going? Just here? That's okay. There we go. Little birdie told me. There he is, sitting up there on the page. Very pretty little bird. Right, so we can um, <clears throat> decorate these pages by putting a border around everything. Now, you know what? I can't see a damn thing. I'll just do that now, just to... Highlighted a little bit. Now I watched a movie last night and now I cannot remember what it was about. Let me just see. Oh yes, it was a movie on Foxtel. You had to buy it. It was on their online store. And it was about... Oh, it had Wesley Snipes in it. That's why I watched it. Because I do like Wesley Snipes. And he um, was in charge of a group of people who were from the Iraqi war and all that. And they had to go into a facility where they put criminals. But there was no one there. And uh, it was a bit ridiculous. 
the storyline, but you know, it was okay. I didn't mind it at all. Um, and it was about some sort of computer sort of thing. And, um, you know, how this computer actually changed things. But basically what it was is Wesley Snipes was the baddie. And he um, was in the, I think, uh, Afghanistan, not Iraqi war, yeah, uh, Afghanistan. And he um, shot men, women and children and they were criminals and he had a gang of them. And the facility, he went into the facility with some of the old people he worked with. <clears throat> um, I don't know what they're up to. I can't even tell you to finish the storyline because, you know, wasn't much brain power I had to use. It's just action. And it was good. <clears throat> I didn't mind it. I do like Wesley Snipes. I've always liked him. Thought he was uh, nice to see him on film again. Um, he is much older now, of course. And it shows in the movie. Can't even remember what, what it was called. You're going to have to look on Foxtel here in Australia. But it was all right. Um, I did want to watch another movie. It was about some murders. I think it was English. And it was about solving some murders. But here we go. And um, that was okay. There's the other two pages. So that's not a bad start in this uh, journal, this little book I made up. I just made it up. Um, let's just see what else we can do. This is a pretty little 20 that I backed onto some paper and I added a little gemstone there. Um, that's another pretty one. It's a pretty flower one. Um, I suppose you could do some journaling there. You're a gem, write about something, and then you've got this pretty one here. Let's find another one for the bottom. How about just something like that? Yeah. Don't mind that. Hmm. Right, let's see. Let me just see. Let me just have a look. I'm not that fussed on them being there without having a purpose. Just putting them in your journals. Um, I was, I, sometimes I think, you know, Maybe you can journal around that. You're a gem. Write something about your time at Christmas time, you know. Or the memories. Memories is a good one, isn't it? So how about we put that there and then right around it you could write about the day. Um, your memories for the day. Let me just see. You know what? You can write around the whole thing. Now that wouldn't look too bad. Then you could write about your day, Christmas Day. I could put a heading up there called Memories and then have this. Or I could have it in the middle and then you could write about it. Yep, I think that is the best option. I do want to use some of these twenties. Right, have we got that on straight? It appears so. Oh, there we go. 
So we've got that as a heading, and then you could write underneath your memories for today. Well, yeah, for the 25th. Let me just get my label maker out. Now, get rid of all that and just say, how about my M Y my capital M memories mem more -ries. my memories of the day of the day the Hey, what? Memories of the day. How about that? There we go. I am a notoriously bad writer. So I use a one of those label makers. And yes, well, I'm just wondering where to put this. My memories of the day. I could go over that, couldn't I? Yep, I could. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's just cut it down a little bit. Don't need it to be that long. Let's just put some of this on. Oops, nearly dropped it. Quickly and grabbed it. There we go. And let's just see if we can go over that one to about there. My memories of the day. I dropped my card, didn't I? So I can't use that. So how about we just use our fingers? Just like that. And that fixes that. My memories of the day. Now we might put... How does this write? Yep. Christmas. So we wrote Christmas down. So my memories of the day of Christmas. Um, let me just see over here because I do have some stamps. Now that one's Merry Christmas. This one here is a little stamp of prezzies. How about we use that? That looks pretty good to me. Okay, let's get our stays on. Let's get our ink. Yes, it goes fine. How about we put them on the bottom here? There we go. Let's put them on the bottom here. There we go. Nope, that one didn't work. There we go. I wonder if this one will work on this end. Yeah, sort of. There we go. So we've got prezzies all on the bottom. Put our stays on away. Let's just clean this off a little bit. Okay. Put them back away. 
Okay, so we've got our Prezi stamp on the bottom there. Can you see that? The present stamps. There we go. And the memories of the day. So you can write them down there. Um, and there's our calendar. So that is, I think, enough for today. Um, I've got another stamp here. Let me have a look at this one. Oh, yes, I like this one. This one is quite nice. I used it on, it doesn't seem that long ago that I used it. Um, I'll just get that off. It's very sticky stuff. This one says, ho, ho, ho. How about if I put it on the bottom here? There we go. That looks pretty good. Ho, ho, ho. See it there? I can also put it on this side. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. Right, let's just fix that up. Get that off. Put our stays on away. And there we go. We've done those two pages. To anticipate Christmas. Now, yes, my finger's black. See that? <laughs> I have to wipe that up as quickly as possible. So there's our calendar for December. And then we've got a little writing space there for the day. Memories of the day. A calendar, of course. My birthday over there. So that's pretty good day's work. So i tell you what. Um, I'll see you next time. And we'll do some more in our journal. And I'm going to start making, as soon as October's finished, which is Halloween season for a lot of people, I'm going to start in November on Christmas decorations because I want to put some up this year. Um, and I usually only have one little place I put it. I don't decorate the whole house. I just have one space. Now, last year I made a nativity, a nativity... Um, display. I'm going to find that. I did pack it down and pack it and I, <clears throat> excuse me, put it in the garage so I have to go down and find it again in my box and I'll put my nat nativity scene back up that I made last year. So until I see you next time, please take care everyone. Bye for now. See you in the next video.